The 2012 ATP World Tour has finally reached a spectacular conclusion, with Novak Djokovic clinching the year-end championships at London's O2 Arena. It was also a year which bid farewell to four highly regarded players, all of whom reached the top five in the South African Airways ATP World Tour rankings. The owner of one of the most powerful forehands in the game, Fernando Gonzalez, played his final match at the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami. Gonzalez won 11 career titles, a silver medal at the Beijing Olympics, and reached the Australian Open final in 2007. Yeah, it's been 14 years unbelievable, like a pro, and I was dreaming when I was five years old until today, uh, my career is done, and I, I only have a great memories. Ivan Lubicic was once considered the greatest indoor player of his era, but chose to call time in his career this season, just a few steps away from his home, on the clay courts of the Monte Carlo Country Club. Well, he was uh, one of the great servers we had in the game. Um, obviously, one of those dangerous players you never wanted to face. Uh, I had some great matches uh, throughout the years with him, and you know I can really consider myself lucky enough to have played in his time. One of the game's great gentlemen, and ever popular amongst his peers, Ivan will long be remembered for his outstanding contribution to the sport both on and off the court throughout his career. Andy Roddick was the best American men's player for much of the past decade, clinching consecutive Masters 1000 titles in Canada and Cincinnati in 2003, as well as the US Open. Fittingly, he announced his retirement at Flushing Meadows this year. The three-time Wimbledon finalist was a permanent fixture in the top ten for most of his playing career, amassing 32 ATP World Tour titles and 33 Davis Cup victories. The global tennis community paid a special tribute to former world number one Juan Carlos Ferrero during the Valencia Open 500 in October, as the popular Spaniard announced that his home event would be his last. Capturing Masters 1000 titles in Rome in 2001 and Monte Carlo in 2002 and 2003, Ferrero established himself as the world's best clay court player in the early part of the new millennium. The 32-year-old rose to the top of the rankings in September 2003, winning the French Open and reaching the US Open final the same year. Ferrero continues his interest in the game as the new tournament director for the 2013 Valencia Open 500. Despite the sport saying goodbye to some of its greats, 2012 has been an unforgettable season, with four different Grand Slam champions for the first time since 2003. Next season promises to hold yet more excitement. <laughs>